And that does it for me this hour. Contessa Brewer is picking up our coverage next. Contessa, what do you have coming up? Well, as you know, Nora, we are working on getting some of these ideas from Republicans on their alternative to President Obama's budgets. Uh, yesterday, or this morning, it was a little bit disappointing when we were listening to the president and the Republicans came out in a big old news conference. They said, we have detailed plan, an alternative to the president's budget, and yet, Nora, there it was. We didn't get any details. Well, it was only 19 pages long. The president's was 146 pages. I even asked Congressman Pence, you know, what's the deficit number in your budget proposal? He said he didn't know. Some of the details are going to come out later this week. So clearly, uh, they've got more details to put forward as they try and make the case that they are not just the party of no. There were definitely some ideas listed in those 19 pages. We're going to cover those and sort of speculate about what we'll get when the numbers come out next week. That's all ahead here in uh, after a quick break on MSNBC. Have a good show. Storm clouds are brewing over the budget battle. The Senate Budget Committee adopted a slightly modified version of the White House plan, and Republicans rolled out what they're calling their budget blueprint instead of details. We got this. Today we're introducing a detailed road to recovery plan, and uh, in our plan, curb spending creates jobs and cuts taxes uh, while controlling uh, the debt. And while the president's budget is anti-stimulus, we believe that our budget uh, plan will strengthen the economy and restore our fiscal sanity here in Washington. Mike Vicar is MSNBC's congressional correspondent. It's almost like deja vu, even though it was tough words from the minority leader. It's like that old uh, Wendy's commercial here, Mike. Where's the beef? <laughs> Well, Robert Gibbs, the White House press secretary, had some fun with it today. I mean, basically, they're portraying this as old wine and new bottles. And here is the plan that uh, Minority Leader Boehner was talking about. It's a plan, but it's not necessarily that detailed. Uh, it doesn't have the charts and the numbers that are normally associated with a budget. But they do say that the Republicans will have something more detailed next week when it's debated on the House floor. Uh, what this has is a sort of an amalgam of many of the policy pronouncements that we've heard from Republicans over the course of the last several years. Uh, they do say that they want to undo the recent stimulus package and omnibus bills. Uh, they want tax incentives for health care for employers to provide health care. Uh, they want to cut back on trial lawyers suing doctors for me medical malpractice. They believe that is out of control and driving up costs. They want to drill more uh, and explore more for oil in the Outer Continental Shelf and within the United States. Uh, they also emphasize wind and solar here. We've heard that uh, before, particularly over the summer at the Republican convention. I think I heard some chanting along those lines. They want to have a 10% tax, uh, tax rate, marginal tax rate for the first $100,000 that people may earn. Uh, so these are initiatives that we've heard a lot of from Republicans. You know, you really can't in any objective sense say that it is a budget. Uh, it doesn't have deficit numbers and projections and out years and things of that it's nature more, that we come to like associate. It's more like a platform. It's what the Republicans believe. And yet, given the opportunity and national TV time to explain what they think the alternative to the president's budget should be, they resorted to what we heard last week and this weekend and all week long. It was a message that we've heard again and again. And again, uh, and so but it, Mike, it came in a pamphlet. It, it did come it did. in a pamphlet today. And, but and, again, and you have given us more beef. Um, than the Republicans did with well, their again, opportunity and their news conference. All right, I mean, I'm just going to say this to be a little bit, try to be fair to them. They will have a detailed plan. They promise when it's debated, they'll have an they alternative. They promise that today. They promise the, the detailed plan today. Okay, and all right. Anyway, I, I mean, thank you, Mike, for being okay. fair.